This is me. Now, let's have an old story about Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who everyone loved, especially her old grandmother. Wherever she went, the girl wore a little red cape with a hood on it, which her mother had made for her. So people always called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood's mother packed a basket full of delicious things to eat, and she asked her daughter to take it to her grandmother's house on the other side of the forest. As Little Red Riding Hood was putting on her red cape, her mother said, Be sure to stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. Little Red Riding Hood promised to do as her mother said, and set off on the path through the forest. She had not gone far before she met a big grey wolf, who greeted her and asked, Where are you taking that basket? And Little Red Riding Hood answered, I am taking it to my grandma. The wolf smiled, showing his big teeth, and asked, Where does your grandma live? And Little Red Riding Hood pointed through the trees and said, She lives on the other side of the forest. Then she remembered she should not talk to strangers, and said, She is sick in bed, so I must hurry. The wolf pointed to the spring flowers under the trees and said, Why don't you take her some flowers? But Little Red Riding Hood remembered her promise to her mother and said, No, I must go straight to Grandma's. But the flowers looked so pretty, and the wolf said, The flowers might make your Grandma feel better. So Little Red Riding Hood stopped to pick some, while the big grey wolf ran off through the forest straight to her Grandma's house. He knocked on the door and called out in a tiny voice, It's me, Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood. And with that, he rushed into the house, snarling and snapping his teeth. Luckily, Grandma was in the kitchen, and she rushed out of the back door, crying, Help! Help! The wolf! But the wolf did not chase after her. Instead, he found her nightgown and bed cap and put them on. Then he climbed into Grandma's bed and pulled the covers right up to his nose. And soon, Little Red Riding Hood came skipping up the path and knocked on the front door, calling... It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. She opened the door and went straight in to stand by her grandma's bed. But then she stared in surprise. Little Red Riding Hood thought her grandma looked very strange indeed. Grandma, what big ears you have. And the wolf pulled the bedclothes higher and said in an old woman's voice, All the better to hear you with, my dear. But Little Red Riding Hood was still puzzled and said, Grandma, what big eyes you have. And the wolf pulled Grandma's nightcap down a bit lower and answered, All the better to see you with, my dear. But Little Red Riding Hood was still puzzled and said, But, Grandma, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with. <laughs> and he sprang out of bed. Little Red Riding Hood ran for her life, out of the door and into the forest with the wicked wolf right behind her. She ran as fast as she could towards a woodsman who saw that she was in big trouble. The woodsman took his gun and fired. Bang! And that was the end of the wicked wolf. From then on, Little Red Riding Hood could safely visit her grandma whenever she liked. <laughs>